Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today the road brings us to Henry River Mill Village. You may notice this building behind me, especially if you follow the movie The Hunger Games. It was instrumental in the movie and we will share with you what happened there a little later. Also, we will show you some other things from the movie and also give you some history about Henry River Mills. Today I have on camera with me my granddaughter Layton. Hey y'all. And she knows more about this place than I do. And we'll get started right after this station identification. <music> Henry River Mill Village originally was erected around 1905. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2019. More recently, it became popular and known as the own location set for District 12 in the movie Hunger Games. During the early 1900s, the company erected 35 workers' houses and a two-story boarding building, a bridge, a brick company, a store, a power-producing dam, and the original three-story brick mill building where the yarn was produced. Until 1914, all the operations were powered fully by water. This was later converted to steam power and electricity as the technology advanced and upgrades were made to increase production. By 1963, the company had tripled its production from the inception in 1905, but due to the pressures of overseas and basically textile companies leaving the United States, it became a downward spiral on the mill. And the mill ceased operations shortly afterward. Around 1977, Wade Shepard had bought the property and not long after that the main mill building burned to the ground and they think it was a lightning strike and people still lived here in the homes in the late 1990s and early 2000 but after that people began moving away because there wasn't any running water here no sewage system this is one of the original wells with the logs across it and the fence across it. As I said earlier, there was no indoor plumbing, no running water, no toilets. It wasn't until 2021 that plumbing was put here in a building that they remodeled. There's another well there. That's a fire pit. Wrong about that. There's a house that they remodeled. This is the only place here that has plumbing. You may notice this particular building in one of the scenes from Hunger Games. What are the actor by the name of? Josh Hutcherson or PETA. And he came out on the front steps right there. He and throws the bread out to Katniss in the rain. There you go. Right next to the bakery and the Hunger Games in this area here was a hog pen that Hollywood built. And that was one of the scenes in the movie. There was a house over in this area that was actually blown up by the movie company and the story that they told us was they didn't inform the owner they just blew it up and afterward came a lawsuit 
and the movie company was not allowed to film here anymore. So it's a good thing we have Layton with us today because she has watched this movie and she knows all about it. This is Katniss's house. Okay. And there is Katniss's little bed. The foundations from one of the houses that uh, didn't make it. This is the only building left from the original cotton mill. This is where the cotton would come in to be carted out prior to be woven into thread. This is the back side of the old mill. This dam area is where This is where the original water mill, water wheel would have been that powered the mill in the 1800s. Well, only one house you are allowed to go in because they're not safe, but the ones with the concrete porches, we are allowed to look in the window. What we've been told, in each house, there would have been approximately two families living in each house. And remember, back in those days, it wasn't uncommon to have ten children. And there were no toilets except outhouses. And if we can look down through these houses, it appears that there is an outhouse between two houses. So, four families sharing one toilet seat could get very tricky especially on a north carolina early cold winter morning At one time, there were over 300 people living here with only 35 homes. So they were packed in here pretty tight. Well, that is gonna do it for our trip to the Henry River Mills village it's a lot of words for me to say and also the hunger games filming location one of the hunger games filming locations i hope you've enjoyed your visit here as much as we have enjoyed it uh, there's lots of information here i still can't get over the fact that in 2001 people were still going to the bathroom at our houses can you imagine that if you have 
be sure to comment below. That's some more you more information we need. Again, we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share with your family and friends. But until next time, y'all have a good day.